Now, have you ever wondered how much of your behavior is shaped by what other people expect of you? In other words, are there times when you tend to act a certain way, not because you are convinced that it is the right thing to do, but because other people in your group or your culture are acting that way? During the 1950s, psychologist Solomon Ash conducted a series of experiments that showed clearly how we often conform to what we think others expect of us rather than what we believe is right. Participants were shown a card with a few lines on it, and they had to say which one was a similar length to a line on another card. Unbeknownst to them, though, all the other participants were actually actors who deliberately chose the wrong answer. What Ash found after conducting this experiment in many ways with different people was that as the numbers of the actors increased, so did the conformity of the subject. In other words, the more people seemed to do or think a certain way, the more likely others were to do the same, even if they didn't really agree with it. Around 20 years later, another psychological experiment was done that seemed to prove this point. This one, though, was a lot more controversial. It's known as the Stanford Prison Experiment and was conducted by Philip Zimbardo and his team who built a makeshift prison in the basement of the Stanford University Psychology Department. They recruited students from middle-class backgrounds who were mentally and physically well and seen as relatively normal to volunteer for a social experiment. And these students were then randomly assigned either the role of a prisoner or a prison guard for the two-week experiment. However, on the sixth day, Zimbardo was forced to terminate this experiment because of the emotional breakdowns of the prisoners and excessive aggression of the guards. You see, both groups adapted so quickly to the roles expected of them that they acted in a way that was often contrary to how they would normally behave and what they knew to be the right thing to do. Now, certainly, there's much to say about this experiment. However, what is quite clear is that people often conform to the expectations or opinions of others, even when it goes in against their own values and what they believe to be true and right. And therefore, as you go into today, may I encourage you to be aware of this tendency and decide that you will do what is right, even if it's not what the rest of your group is doing. Who knows, you may just start a new trend of living according to your values and not others' expectations.